fast radio burst, or FRB, is a transient radio pulse originating from an unknown high energy astrophysical phenomenon. Lasting milliseconds, the majority of FRBs are one offs, occurring quickly, never to reappear again. However, several repeating FRBs have been detected. The origin of these strange occurrences remains uncertain, though the general consensus among astronomers suggests that FRBs emit from extragalactic sources. A fairly recent discovery, the first FRB was detected in 2007 by Duncan Lorimer and David Narkevic during an examination of archival survey data taken by the Parkes Radio Telescope in New South Wales, Australia. While searching for signals within the Magellanic Clouds, they happened upon a rather brilliant pulse. Lasting a mere 5 milliseconds and occurring on July 24, 2001, the FRB gained the designation FRB 010724 and is commonly referred to as the Lorimer Burst. For nearly a decade, most FRBs were detected in this manner, though the Lorimer burst remained unique for some time due to its intensity. In 2013, four similar Lorimer bursts were detected, henceforth establishing the term fast radio burst. Astronomers found these four bursts as part of the 2010 High Time Resolution Universe surveys conducted at Parks. Curiously, the brightest of these bursts displayed a classical dispersion sweep, demonstrating scatter broadening with power law dependencies, an indication of what a radio emission from an extraterrestrial source might look like. It wasn't until January 19, 2015, that the first live FRB was observed by astronomers at the Parkes Observatory in Australia. Since most FRBs emit only once at astronomical distances, follow-up observations have proven difficult to execute. Until recently, of the 80-odd detected FRBs, only three were known repeaters. The first repeating FRB was discovered in archival data from 2012. Designated 2012 FRB 121102, astronomers discovered that the signal originated from a dwarf galaxy 3 billion light years away from the Milky Way. It remains the only repeating FRB with an identified host galaxy. During 18 follow up observations, scientists focused on the duration of the bursts and two primary characteristics the dispersion, and polarization. The dispersion relates to the frequency of one wave separated from another, while the polarization determines the direction where the bursts travel. Dispersion offers hints to the environment surrounding the source of the FRB, and the polarization allows researchers to learn more about the source itself. All observations had similar polarizations revealing that whatever caused these bursts had a constant orientation relative to the Earth. The dispersion revealed an environment surrounded by electrons and shrouded within a violent magnetic field, all key indicators of the presence of a black hole. One particular burst lasted approximately 30 microseconds implying that the source was about 10 kilometers across, similar in size to a neutron star, the collapsed core of a giant star. As the evidence might suggest, 
A popular theory proposes that the collision of a neutron star with a black hole could produce an FRB, raising even more questions. How could this collision create an FRB? And if a black hole was indeed involved in this process, what happens beyond the event horizon that causes these high-powered radio bursts? FRBs continue to puzzle astrophysicists, spurring international cooperation to resolve one of the greatest modern scientific mysteries. In August 2019, utilizing the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment Telescope, or CHIME. Astronomers from McGill University in Montreal, Canada identified eight additional repeating FRBs. This FRB hunting telescope based in British Columbia continues making progress as it aims to identify more bursts with the anticipation to fully understand this enigma. What are fast radio bursts? How are they created? And where do they come from? The answer remains inconclusive.